Tuesday afternoon, and we've devised a test to see if Sally can read from objects. Welcome to the Hard Rock Cafe. Its vault is home to Britain's biggest collection of rock and roll memorabilia. Sally has never been here before and has no idea of what artifacts lie within the vault. Will she be able to read from the objects on display? Really excited about getting down there hands on because, you know, at the end of the day, these are really fascinating people. Rock star lifestyle, you know, drugs, booze, sex. Let's get down there. That's what I say and have a look. To keep our star psychic on her toes, she will not decide what items to read from. Jimmy the Vault Master will. Well, today I've picked out some left field things, actually, not things that people would. Uh, not very obvious things. Things are a bit tricky to get a grip on, so we'll see how she does with that. To up the ante, Sally is blindfolded before entering the vault. This building is probably lead lined, so there's no way she could even use X ray vision, you know, to tell what's going to be given to her today. As Sally is handed the first item, look at that in your hands. She believes the spirits are guiding her. This person is dead. Yes. This is a man. Yes, yes. Um, did I just say that? Because all I, what I'm looking at actually are three men. I'm looking at him and I'm looking at... Um, uh, this man's got two sons. Actually, this is an artist. This is somebody that could... He misses drawing and painting. Yes, yes. Um, he did do that, yeah. This is a bit confusing because I... I'm looking at, I can see Paul McCartney. This man's dead. Yes. This is, um, I know who this is. Who is it? Because, well, I can see the Dakota building. Yes. In New York. This is John Lennon. Absolutely, absolutely is so, yeah. Can I have a look at it? Can I take the my... jacket? Yeah, please do. Ooh. That's it. Uh, shall I tell you where I picked everything up when I put my hand inside the sleeve? Really? So that's obviously, that's his left side too, look. Like near his heart. Yes, yes. Isn't that unbelievable? That's amazing. That is unbelievable. That is amazing. I can't believe I've done that. Yeah. Excited by getting the first one right, next up, can Sally pick up anything from this 1950s gramophone? Right. This is also somebody that's passed. That's correct, yes, yes. Um, but the interesting thing is, I'm looking at cars. I can see Cadillacs. This is an American. Mm -hmm. This is, um, I'm looking at a big mansion. Yes, and yes. This was his home, and he never left his home. Yeah, you're on the right tracks with that. And it's a big house. This was in a garage. This was someone who was a bit odd, I have to say. <laughs> this person wasn't, because I think that there was a side to this man that um, was very much, he was a showman. Absolutely, yeah. Bang because on. you know why I just, when I got, got that, I, I'm in um, Las Vegas with all the lights. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I know who this is. I think this is Elvis. The king, absolutely, absolutely, it is, yes. And I think the house was Graceland's that absolutely, I was Absolutely, absolutely. It came from Graceland's. It was actually a, a phonograph, a, a, an, old, uh, an old antique phonograph that was presented to Elvis from his record company, which he had in the house. Okay, Sally, here's the yeah. next one coming at you. Jimmy the Vault Master's third artifact once belonged to an undisputed rock and roll icon. This belonged to a man. Yes, yes. But I feel like I'm looking at a little boy, so this is a bit confusing. I'm going to wow. sound like... No, no, you're like, on the right track with that, definitely. Well, I feel like I'm in a bedroom and I can see the wallpaper and it's cowboys and Indians. Uh, I feel, as I said, like I'm the mother and I'm in that bedroom and I'm crying. Obviously, my son's been killed. Yes, um, yes. I can hear people screaming. I believe this man died with other people. That's correct, yes, um, yes. Can I say this? It took about three minutes for this man to die. Mm. So he realised he was dying. Oh, this is dreadful. Did he die with Buddy Holly? He did die with Buddy Holly. Oh, my God! Are you serious? Serious. Oh my I'm God! Serious. I've gone. I can't. I'm gonna cry. Yes. I can't believe that. Take this. I'm gonna take. I'm okay. crying. All right. um, oh, this was dreadful. We knew he was gonna die. This actually was the guitar from Richie Valens. He screamed, mm. "Buddy, why am I in a bedroom? Why am I?" Because it was his first guitar that he wrote the song on. He gave that to his mother, and she probably would have put it in his bedroom. Okay. You ready? Hold your hands out. It's a smaller piece. Finally, 
To catch her out, Sally is handed a more abstract item and is soon seeing the scene of a tragedy. I can see a ceiling and um, I can see like, uh, you know, like a barn, like a, we, I know we're in a vault here, but like a vaulted ceiling, you know, with beams, yes. cross beams. That's correct. And like I look up, I'm on the floor, this man died in there. That's absolutely correct. Um, and I'm going to be even more outrageous and say that he shot himself. Yes, sadly true, but yes. I pick up, I'm, I'm getting a lot of love here. That was the wedding gloat from the top of the cake, wedding cake from Kurt Cobain and uh, Courtney Love. And you mentioned everything just about bang on there. And it's, I believe he took his own life in the back, near his garage, in a vault, near a vaulted ceiling, oh yeah, with a shotgun. Are you, yeah. Is that the truth? That's absolute truth. Who's the woman then? Who's that's the his, that's his, uh, his widow, Courtney Love. Love. Love, 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 love. At the end of her visit, Sally has read from four objects with pinpoint accuracy, yet she had not been briefed. Go figure. On the ball, on the mark, and three gold stars from me, that's yeah, just incredible.